Depending on the depth, speed, quality, and quantity of holes you need, choosing the right bit will make a world of difference. Spade bits are one of the most common wood boring drill bits that are flat with a sharp spear in the center and a spur on either side to quickly scoop material out of the bore hole. These are cheaper than other options and can cut through wood quickly, which is great for drilling lots of different sized holes. These bits work best with holes up to one inch and go as large as an inch and a half. The standard length is six inches, but shorter and longer options are also available. If you're running electrical lines, drilling holes in two x four studs is pretty common. They're also pretty cheap at around 25 bucks, so everyone should have a set just in case. While spade bits are easy to use, they have a few disadvantages. Firstly, they can cause splintering when drilling all the way through a piece of wood, especially when drilling into hardwood. As the bit gets duller, the holes can get rougher, but you can easily resharpen them to get a nice clean cut again. Bosch makes some of our favorite spade bits, the Daredevil, and it's much better than the standard paddle bit. Auger bits and twist drill bits are also common for drilling holes in the wood. Auger bits have a sharp point at the tip and that helps for precise drilling and creates a smoother hole than a spade bit. Auger bits are designed to drill deeper than other bits. Links are typically 17 inches on these and can go from 6 inches all the way to 31 inches. And diameters range from 3 8 to 1 inch. So drilling holes for plumbing or electrical work and boring deep holes are good examples of why that extra length comes in handy. The spiral shape clears waste from the borehole. They also require less force to operate because the spiral shape and guide screw at the tip pulls the bit into the wood. Bosch has a great selection of auger bits to choose from and are some of the most durable options out there. Milwaukee also recently launched utility augers aimed specifically to work with larger impact drills where speed is a priority. Auger bits are great for furniture making, construction, or for anyone working with utility poles or guardrails. In the last few years, these have started to become more popular. Imagine a spade bit and auger bit had a baby. Honestly, there isn't even a standard name yet. I've heard someone call it a spogger once, which makes sense, I guess. Irwin has the speed bore or tri flute, and Milwaukee's version is called the speed feed. Whatever you want to call it, the idea is inexpensive enough to do sets like a spade bit, but add a little more speed and benefit of an auger. So far, we haven't seen a huge adoption, but love the idea. Everyone knows about hole saws. It's a reliable option to cut larger holes in all types of woods, including hardwoods, plywood, laminate, plastic, tiles, and even metals. These are durable enough to cut accurate holes from half inch to six inch in diameter. Milwaukee makes some great hole saws in a ton of different sizes so you can cut the perfect hole for any application. Carbide hole saws like Milwaukee's Hole Dozer or Big Hog for wood are more durable than other bimetal options. Hole saws typically come in a kit with various sizes. They're similar to spade bits and are great for solving a problem you didn't even know you had. There is a downside of hole saws though. You really can't efficiently drill deeper than the hole saw itself. So I wouldn't recommend it for anything thicker than a two by material. Self feed bits are pretty much another hybrid, but with a mix of a hole saw and a spade bit. They have outer teeth that cut wider circumference like a hole saw and have a radial blade in the center to drill out the core like a spade bit. Self-feed bits are used for boring larger 1 inch to 4 and 5 eighths inch holes in diameter. They provide a great balance of speed, accuracy, all while cutting a clean hole. Similar to spade bits, the radial bits in the center of the self-feed bit can be sharpened to keep them going stronger for longer. Of course you have a downside to these, but it's not so bad. They just require a lot of torque, so you'll need a high power drill to use them. They are mainly intended to quickly drill through wood for holes that don't need to be perfectly neat. For example, if you're drilling several holes for pipe insulation, the holes will never be seen, so speed should be all you care about. Self-feed bits are a little more expensive than the other bit options, but they are long-lasting because of how heavy duty they are. Forstner bits are similar to self-feed bits, but are optimized for cutting finished holes in wood. These bits create super clean and precise cuts because they're designed to produce a minimum amount of tear out when exiting the material. They can drill through holes and flat bottom holes for hardware installation where your cutting depth needs to be precise. Forstner bits are typically used for half inch to two inch holes and will deliver the cleanest cut possible. Great for partially overlapped holes and holes at the edge of your material which provide a lot more stability than other bits. Of course the downside of Forstner bits, they're expensive. But they're finished bits, so that's always going to run you a little higher than other bits. It would be impossible to test all these options in every different scenario, but there is a video from Todd at Project Farm where he tests different speeds of mostly spade bits, but we found it very informative. He does throw in an Irwin Speedbore Spogger, a Bosch Auger bit, and a Linux self-feed bit, but focuses mostly on speed through 2x materials and price. 
He does have a separate hole saw head to head, but it focuses mostly on metal drilling. Hopefully this brief overview helped highlight why we have so many options. Of course, some of it comes down to personal preference. If you're going for speed over beauty or just want to keep the cost down, spade bits are great or a self-feed bit if it's for larger holes. Hole saws are a universal option for cutting a lot of different materials and various sized holes. If depth is more of an issue, an auger bit will still be a great option as you can still accomplish a nice clean hole. And lastly, Forstner bits work great for a wide range of finished projects. Of course, the team here at Ohio Power Tool is available to answer all your questions for drilling wood, metal, concrete, or whatever you're wanting to build or destroy. Just give us a call and we'll be happy to help you find the right tool for the job. Hey, did you like that video? Did you find it helpful? If so, give us a like, we'd really appreciate it. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment below, give us a call, email, write us a letter, however you want, just get a hold of us and we're always happy to help. If you need a little more content from me, check out one of these videos here or subscribe to our channel up here. Thank you for watching, now get back to work.